kwa ndani ya shamba basodalo wakanikamata wakanibaka ninatambana huku pote damu tupu ndio bakafa mwezi mzima biko na mimi mpuri huko tunakuwa na service ile ya kawaida na ingambo ndio tunakuwa na service ya wale wa mama ambao wame wakubako meet dr dennis mukwege mkengere the director of panzi hospital in bukavu located in the eastern part of the democratic republic of congo when we first met him he had just arrived from a trip which took him more than 2 weeks and back home this group of women was kept worried na nilisha rudia lakini saa tu mwisho wa mwake naanza inamalizika programu ya operation itaanza tena sawa kawaida huko ningali natengeneza nani programu juu ya mwaka kesho it is unusual for patients to rejoice upon learning that they will soon be operated on we later came to realize that to these poor women and girls, it was the only option towards normal life. And that is what has made this doctor different from the rest not only in Bukavu, but in the rest of the world. Gynecology is a scientific study and treatment of diseases and disorders of the female reproductive system. That is exactly what Dennis Mukwege Mkengere went to study in France 23 years ago, and little did he know that years later, his acquired experience will be the only hope to these women who are now caught up in the endless cycle of armed conflicts. Despite plenty of natural resources, including vast mineral deposits, the country currently is faced with many challenges. For decades now, the area commonly referred to as the Great Lakes has been synonymous with instability. Being part of the region, the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo has been hosting tens of armed groups from amongst its citizens and those from neighboring countries such as Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi. Regardless of their affiliations, in the eyes of these women, all the armed groups are responsible for the gender-based violence in the eastern part of the country. Sisi wanawake tunakuwa tunajiuliza kama vita ilikuwa ni juu ya ku, ya, ku, ya kugandamiza tena zaidi mwanamke au je? In ancient times, rape was seen as a reward to the victors. Women were often kidnapped as spoils of war and forced to marry their captors. Recent changes, however, are confirming that rape is now increasingly being used as a tactic of war. The act is no longer a byproduct of it but an extension of the battleground. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, countless women and girls are raped systematically day in, day out. Gender-based violence in the Eastern DRC continues at an alarming rate. Wakati wa vita ya pili ya dunia, waliweza kuwa wanaume, wanawake walibakia. Na wale wanawake walipobakia, waliolewa, wakazaa na inchi kaendelea kuwa na watu wengi lakini hizo vita za kienyeji za hizi siku zina baka wanawake zina huwa wanawake rape is part of the wider violence directed against a woman and it includes acts that inflict physical and psychological suffering it is an act of violence against the victim's will and women and girls are forced into submission by the use of physical force and threats of harm it is sudden and unpredictable wakati wale wana, wanawake wako wanabakwa na maradhi yanaambukizwa yale maradhi yataambukiwa pia wanaume ni aina nyingine ya genocide ambayo haizungumziwi numerous requests to interview members of the armed groups were unsuccessful however we managed to talk to a young demobilized soldier and asked him about the allegations ndi njogi si bado kwa nafanya hata 10 Rape has evolved from a largely random event into a premeditated and organized act of terrorism during warfare. Its consequences have motivated Dr. Mukwege to develop this special unit. Na sasa tunakuwa na hospitali ya vitanda 300 
hamsini. Na kwa hivyo vitanda mia tatu hamsini karibu mia mbili hamsini e, tunavitumikisha kwa wale wa mama ambao wamepata shida ya kubakwa na jeuri mbalimbali e, kwa hii kipande cha cha Kongo. Unable to sit comfortably, this woman lies on a bench writhing in pain awaiting surgery. Daily, a team of doctors perform up to eight reconstructive surgeries in this room. From here, victims are checked for sexually transmitted diseases and the level of damage. Tangu karibu zaidi ya miaka tano, tunapokea wa mama kumi kila siku. As the act of rape itself is violent, some parts of the body end up being torn or ruptured. In a situation where a woman is not only gang raped, but also the barrel of the gun or a stick is inserted into her genital, the womb, bladder, intestines, rectum, blood vessels and the nerves are among the most affected. After a brief counseling before we interviewed some of the rape victims, we had an opportunity to listen to stories from some of them. We found out that age was no barrier. Sasa nilamkia kushamba kutimbua mioko. Naona binaume hivi. Pita. Hadi kunulisha tani. Na balikuwa na mabundu. Nikaenda kunyumba, niko na dia na njoo damu kaanza shuka. Benikotamkori amezaa mtoto wa sita yuko na ye mkononi kabisa na anafanana watu wa ngambo kabisa hata baba utafika kani yuko anamleta kanisa <laughs> yuko anamleta kanisani kila siku na alisema kwamba watu wengine wanangoja kuuliza uliza ushuhuda wa kuvamiwa mimi ushuhuda njoo imumuone mtoto huyu kweli ni mkongomani huyu katika, katika mbuga ya wanyama nyama dume haiwezi kupandia kitoto haiwezi nyama dume pia ukichunguza vizuri katika mbuga haiwezi kupandia dike isiyo kuwa kwa wakati yake Both girls we talked to are now mothers of babies they did not intend to have and chances are that they will never get men to marry them One of the girls family has shown less interest in her while the father of the other victim says he was already finding it impossible to take care of his daughter He is therefore not prepared to take care of the grandchild. Wakati unahudumia mama ambaye alikuwa bila uzazi, na siku moja analeta mtoto anakuambia, "Daktari, nimepata mtoto sababu nimepata matibabu kutoka kwako. Utaipatia ina ina value ya hela ngapi?" Na hapa pale nilipokea kweli na baadhi nitunza na hivi nilisha pole. In most communities Rape victims are not accepted back and in this case a number of victims have made this place their home. If left unattended, many rape victims end up feeling dirty, humiliated, rejected and depressed. After experiencing such an ordeal, a conducive environment for these girls and women is crucial for that journey towards full recovery. It is for this reason that most of them will always be connected to Panzi a place where they're taken care of a place where they're listened to a place where they're given hope and more importantly a place where their dignity is restored i would like to get more men who can involve in fighting against sexual violence i would like to get uh, men to fight for the right of women because i don't i don't believe i don't believe that we can build this africa without women we need more men to to support women in the reconstruction of africa